Opposition according to the Herald, CCC leader Nelson Chumisa rigged the Harare East candidate selection process against him and threw former Vice President and ally Tendai Bita under the bus because he thought Bita was responsible for his failure to secure funding for the upcoming elections during his recent trip to the United States. Mr. Chumisa accused Mr. Bita, Washington's chosen opposition figure, when his attempt to secure millions of dollars in U.S. funding for his election campaign failed when the U.S. government shut the door in his face alleging a laundry list of undemocratic activities and also abuse of prior monies. Insiders claim that despite their appearance of unity, their relationship has irreparably fractured to the point where even their ally and Zambian President Hakein Ichalima's efforts to bring them together have failed to rebuild trust in a bromance where there was never any love lost. Mr. Chumisa, whose political alias is Cobra, made the decision to rig the candidate selection procedure after his misguided trip to the U.S., which was planned in secrecy and deception. This was done to prevent Mr. Bita from winning re-election to the House of Assembly. In contrast, Mr. Bita is upset that Mr. Chumisa is unappreciative because he saved the party at the MDC Alliance Congress in Gweru in 2019 and received 150 U.S. dollars 000. According to the sources, in the U.S., Mr. Chumisa, who had previously received encouragement from USAID, tried to persuade the American government to give him $37 U.S. dollars, $281-277 million for his election campaign, with an immediate need of about $340 U.S. dollars, $000 for the nomination fees for himself and his candidates. This was done through the illicit financing of regime change vehicles. Also. He requested $10 million for poll workers, who would receive $200 per day. Also, he requested funding to buy 1 million t-shirts and an equal amount of campaign accessories like bandanas. He had little success despite his best efforts. According to reliable sources, Mr. Chamisa was shown unfavorable reports from the U.S. Embassy in Harare that were created by the Charge to Affairs MS. Elaine French and Acting Mission Director Mr. Ramses Gautier during his meeting with U.S. Department of State's Bureau of African Affairs personnel. He was informed that CCC was a one-man party, that the U.S. does not tolerate undemocratic institutions, that he failed to hold a Congress despite having plenty of time to do so, and that he was an independent candidate, according to the information he got. The person said, Along with information on his anti-democratic past, Mr. Chamisa was informed that his party lacked the intellectual capacity required of any real organization wanting to win elections and lacked the bank account into which the money, if available, might be transferred. While former MP Mr. David Coulter served as the unified MDC's Treasurer General, the U.S. Embassy twice sought financial accounts from the organization. However, Coulter never provided them, stating he was no longer in that capacity, the source claimed. Even the dead were not spared, Mr. Chamisa was informed that the U.S. had funneled millions of dollars into Zimbabwe to support unconstitutional regime change. But the late Treasurer General, Mr. Roy Bennett, was accused of misusing resources to build and furnish a mansion for his wife Elizabeth and to lavishly pay for an out-of-court settlement with his girlfriend Lokodia Karamet Senga. The reports on Mr. Tsvangerai and Mr. Bennett, according to the sources, were created by the former Treasurer General and Vice President of the party, Elton Mangoma, in September 2013. And enraged Mr. Chumisa blamed Mr. Bitet, the man he had stripped of the role of Deputy Party President despite the fact that he maintained his position as President unelected, when his mission failed and he was given the unpleasant instruction to democratize his party before asking the Masters for any financial assistance. He was one of the individuals who once abandoned Svengerai together with Mankoma in Missouri, and he firmly thought that Peter de campaigned him because Peter expected him to lose the election so that he could then take over. He chose Markham Rusty because, according to a CCC insider, he withdrew Peter to guarantee that he doesn't have him as a prospective competitor in Parliament while he is gone. But according to Mr. Bitter, Mr. Markham obtained the victory unfairly because Mr. Chamisa allegedly had to bus supporters from Kuwatzona constituency, where he had previously served as a member of parliament, and provide them with addresses in Harare East as well as party cards so they could queue behind Mr. Markham in the antiquated Parika Mona voting system. The opposition's papered cracks are growing as experts predict another split before or shortly after elections. 
Since the party's contentious candidate selection process was concluded under a thick shroud of secrecy, amid allegations of manipulation and rigging of the process to remove the old guard and replace them with Mr. Chamisa's minions.